Greetings fellow mathematicians and welcome to a Learning Place, a Teaching Place website where you will find all you need to teach and learn mathematics from kindergarten to year six with deep understanding. This is one of a series of videos looking at the research behind the pedagogy and the curriculum on a Learning Place, a Teaching Places website. Today we look at Richard Skemp's research. Richard Skemp defined two ways of learning maths, instrumentally and relationally. And then he asked the question, if there's two ways to teach and learn maths, does it matter? So he defined instrumental understanding as knowing how to do it, knowing what to do. He defined relational understanding as knowing what to do and why, knowing how to do it and why. So does it matter? Let's look at the effects of these two ways of learning and teaching mathematics. So imagine a child wants to learn instrumentally. They just want to get it right, pass the test. The teacher wants to teach instrumentally. The teacher wants the child to get it right, pass the test. So the short term effect is that all appears well because there is a match between what the child wants and what the teacher wants. Both the child and the teacher does maths, but one sign that the child is learning instrumentally is they don't know if they're right until they're told that they're right. And often that comes as a surprise to them. Now the long term effect is, is that the child has to learn ever more rules. They develop shallow understanding of concepts and this causes problems when a question doesn't fit their rule. So this is, me, this is where children can't solve problems. They can't apply what they understand or what they're learning to problem solving. The child may continue to study maths. In other words, learn how to get it right, pass the test, but they will drop maths as soon as they can. Now, what about the child who wants to learn instrumentally and the teacher wants to teach relationally? Now, initially there's frustration for the teacher because the child doesn't want to know why, just wants to know how. And there's frustration for the child because the child is just tell me how to do it. But when the teacher persists using the research that says that relational teaching and relational understanding is the best way to learn and teach maths, the long term effect is that the teacher and the child, both of them, develop relational understanding the child may continue then to study maths and go into a maths related career. And let's admit it, we need more kids doing those kind of science and maths and engineering subjects later on in life. Now what about if the teacher's teaching instrumentally and the child wants relational understanding? And let's face it, we all want to understand what we're learning. The short term effect is that the child tries to understand relationally but they're being taught instrumentally. The child tries to develop deep understanding of concepts but they're being taught in a shallow way. The long term effect is that the child feels that they are not smart enough to learn maths. They disengage, they drop maths as soon as they can. And as adults, they tell their children that they couldn't do maths either. In my career, I talk to people and tell them what I do as a job and they immediately say, I was no good at maths at school. And then when I say, why do you think that? They don't mention maths at all. They mention the way they were taught. Now, current national and international curriculums are designed to teach for relational understanding. But are they being taught instrumentally? Now the final one is relational understanding by the teacher and the child wants to learn with relational understanding. So we have the short term effect is that the child and the teacher both develop relational understanding. Teaching this way develops the teacher's relational understanding as well. And let's face it, most of us were taught instrumentally. 
So if we keep teaching instrumentally, we're just going to keep this cycle going. But if we now start teaching relationally through the strategies and the sort of the pedagogy that's talked about on my website, we will be able to break this cycle and we will have the next generation having relational understanding of maths. The long term effect is that both the teacher and the student develops relational understanding and the child may continue to study maths, go into a maths related career and quite literally save the world.